Hey everybody, this edition of Lineheart Radio is brought to you by the world's first creatine coffee. Each scoop is a full cup of a Colombian Arabica bean coffee infused with five grams of a creatine monohydrate. Now here's the deal, guys. A lot of people have differing opinions about creatine, and unfortunately a lot of really shitty supplement companies have tried to sell it to kids that want to get big and they package it as some kind of steroid alternative and they tell you if you cycle it and if you stack it then you'll gain a bunch of muscle mass and at the end of the day none of that is true what is true is that it's one of the most studied and beneficial supplements on the market for strength recovery and endurance so whether you're a runner whether you are a strength athlete Uh, or whether you're somebody that wants to enhance cognitive function and just feel healthier in everyday life, a pharmaceutical-grade creatine monohydrate is going to help get you there. Go to www.creatinecoffee.com to learn what all the hype is about. And now, on to the show. Welcome back to Lionheart Radio. I'm your host, Rick Alexander, founder of Lua Vive in San Diego, California. And today is our very first mini-sode. So what we're going to do on Sundays is release a shorter episode format that is basically designed to give you tangible fitness advice that you can apply to your routine, your programming, whatever it is that health looks like to you. Now, one of the advantages we have here at Lionheart Radio is that we get to interview thought leaders and experts and uh, elite athletes from all around the world. And what I want to do is distill all of the information that they give us down into a really short couple minutes so that when you're food prepping on Sunday or nursing your hangover or on your Monday morning commute, whenever you get a chance to get it in, can learn something new and, and something that will improve your life. So I thought what we would do is we would start with something I absolutely hate, which is morning workouts. Now, if you're somebody like me, Uh, Morning workout is something that's extremely hard to get into your life. Um, In the morning when I wake up, I first of all, I have like no mental clarity. I have a trouble getting motivation. Really what I want is a hot shower and I hate people before I drink coffee. So uh, if you're anything like me, I think you can relate. The problem is that if I were able to work out in the morning, I would be able to get a lot more done throughout my day. When you start your day with a workout, you have much more energy, you have more clarity throughout your day, not to mention you already knocked that part of your day out. You don't have to come back and do it later, and you can save the rest of your day for doing things that you do like, like playing with your kids or running your side business if you're me. All right, so the way that I've learned to skirt around my morning workouts and to figure out a way to actually start liking them is based on a concept that I heard a long time ago called a coffee nap. Now, the concept of a coffee nap is that When you get tired and you want to take a nap, what you do is you drink a coffee as fast as you can right before you fall asleep. The idea being that as you sleep, the coffee, the caffeine will metabolize and it will wake you up in a really short period. You won't go into that deep REM cycle. Uh, You'll wake up with more energy than you had when you went to sleep. Now, if you're anything like me, you're not going to be able to slam coffee and take a nap. It just doesn't work that way. I'll never fall asleep. But... There is a way that you can get around this and apply the same method to your morning routine. Now, what you want to do is buy a caffeine pill. You can get them from anywhere, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, anything like that. And you're going to take these caffeine pills. Typically, they are 200 milligrams in strength, and you're going to cut them in half or even a quarter. I would say to start with a quarter. Usually, a quarter is plenty for me, which is going to be about 50 milligrams of caffeine. For context, a Starbucks coffee, if you were to get a large or a venti or whatever the fuck they're calling it right now would be 200 milligrams or maybe a little bit more. All right, so with 50 milligrams of caffeine, you're going to put that next to your nightstand and you're going to grab a water and set that next to it and you're going to set your alarm for 30 minutes before you actually want to get up. Now, when your morning alarm goes off, you're going to wake up, you're going to take that caffeine pill and you're going to instantly go right back to bed. The idea being, obviously, you've slept all night, you know you have another half hour of sleep, which might be the best feeling in the entire world. You're going to take your caffeine pill, and then you're going to go back to bed. Now, just like with the coffee naps, what's going to happen is that caffeine is going to metabolize while you're sleeping, and you're going to wake up with energy and mental clarity. And I guarantee you, you'll feel a lot better than you will at any other time that you wake up. Now, the best part about this is it really doesn't affect your diet in any way. Okay, Obviously, with a caffeine pill, there's no calories. It doesn't matter whether you do the ketogenic diet or you do the paleo diet or whatever it is, uh, caffeine really isn't going to affect that. I think the world has come together and decided that caffeine is okay in your diet, no matter what it is. If you're really sensitive to caffeine, obviously you're going to have to scale that dosage down. 
But the good thing about this is that you'll wake up with a lot more energy and you'll wake up in a better mood and you'll be ready to hit the gym much earlier than you would had you not done that. So uh, give it a try. I hope this works out. I hope to see you in the gym before 7 a.m. And neither of us will hate each other because we've both already had our caffeine for the day. All right, you guys have a good week, and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks. Thanks for listening to Lionheart Radio. Subscribe on iTunes and Stitcher Radio, and don't forget to give us a five-star rating for all of your supplement needs. And for show notes, visit luaviv.com.